Senator McCain, President Obama has said he wants this stimulus package on his desk by President's Day, which is February 16th. Do you think that's going to happen? I think it's certainly possible if we will and uh, the Democrats, both House and Senate, would sit down with us across the table and have serious negotiations. Right now, we are very far apart, obviously. When you talked to President Obama about these things, Senator McCain, you said he was receptive. Do you think he would be willing to cut out many of the programs, many of these spending proposals that you object to so much? Well, I hope so, and I also hope that there will be some fundamental changes. Again, I believe that it's time for the administration, Republicans and Democrats, to sit down together and try to negotiate, uh, which is the way you reach legislative conclusions. But given the situation you see this bill in now, Senator McCain, how likely is that to happen? I don't, I don't know, uh, Katie. There's a lot of dynamics, including American public opinion, uh, swinging against this legislation because of its size, because of the unnecessary programs, and the fact that a lot of Americans don't think it'll do the job. So there's a lot of dynamics going on. I think we'll know over the next 48 hours or so, and, but it's a very interesting time to be back on Capitol Hill. President Obama said earlier today, Senator, quote, a failure to act and act now will turn this crisis into a catastrophe and guarantee a longer recession, a less robust recovery, and a more uncertain future. Almost every economist, as you know, agrees that something needs to be done. How can you convince the American people right now and assure them that something anything will be accomplished and this won't get mired down in partisan politics? Well, first of all, uh, economists that I talk to and trust uh, believe that this bill will harm the economy because it will not create jobs, it won't stimulate the economy, and it lays over a trillion dollar debt on future generations of Americans. So um, the economists that I know and trust agree that this bill is very, very bad and should not be passed. But second of all, again, the time has come for us to sit down and negotiate together. But to pass legislation which is $1.2 trillion and doesn't achieve the goal is better. No bill is better than that. But Americans want us to work together. America's, Americans want a package and a bill, but they want the right one.